got that juice. juice. No AP. She got that juice. juice. I got your juicy entertainment news for Monday. Watch me whip. Watch me nay nay rapper Silento has been indicted for a murder charge. Uh, 23-year-old Richard Lamar Hawk now stands accused of murdering his cousin. That's Silento's real name. He was hit with four felony charges, including a single count of malice murder, another count of felony murder. He was also charged with aggravated assault and gun possession and during the commission of uh, a felony. Now, he was arrested back in February this year following the murder of his cousin, Frederick Rooks, and is presently being held without bond. He's been having a troubling year. He was allegedly caught breaking into someone's home with a hatchet. He also had some nudes leaked online before he was hit with the murder charge. And this all happened in a span of a few weeks. Now, his team has argued that he's been suffering from mental health issues for years. Previously, he was denied bail in June after the judge said he was dangerous citing concerns about his mental health. Speaking of mental health, Little Wayne opened up about his history of struggling with mental health and even attempting suicide as a child in a new interview with Emmanuel Aiko for his series, Uncomfortable Conversations. Uh, Wayne came and said that he did the interview with the explicit goal of helping any of his fans who are struggling with mental health problems. A large part of the sit-down was dedicated to his mental health issues, largely the suicide attempt when he was a child. He revealed new details about it. He's spoken about it before, but not the way that he did this time. I mean, he actually came out and gave us the details. He talked about his mother finding out that he was lying about being at school during a half day um, and his aunt warning him about it. He spoke about how his aunt told him that his mother was going to throw out his rap books, which he could not handle the thought of. It was like rap or die. And uh, he revealed that in a cry for help, he called the police to his house and then proceeded to shoot himself in the chest. Now, luckily, the gun was blank. It didn't have any bullets in it. Um, he went on to talk about how the incident completely changed the dynamic in the house and how his mother treated him. He also talked about facing mental health issues despite his stardom and how they've changed as he's matured. Um, and he talked about being happy with where he is now and being able to help people with his music and also how prayer has helped him. Uh, last week, rumors started circulating that Nicki Minaj might be trying to distance herself from her husband, Kenneth Petty. There was some word that she stopped following him on Instagram. Well, now there are reports that her husband's cat past is catching up with them and uh, their marriage continues to be affected by the repercussions of his controversial legal history. Back in 1995, Kevin Kenneth Petty was convicted of trying to rape Jennifer Huff and after serving time in prison, he had to register as a sex offender in New York. Now Huff is suing both Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty for years of alleged harassment. According to Huff, she says that Nicki and Kenneth have been directly and indirectly pressuring, bribing, and threatening her not to speak about the incident or to recant her story altogether since 2018. Uh, last spring, Kenneth was arrested for failing to register as a sex offender when the, they moved to California. And Huff has stated in court documents documents that that uh, Nikki allegedly called her and personally offered to fly her and her family to Los Angeles in exchange for recanting her 1994 rape claims against Kenneth Petty. After declining the offer, Huff claims that she was then offered a $500,000 payment from one of their associates. She's been bombarded with unsolicited visits from their lawyer and also she's been threatened. Huff has even had to move away from her home in August of 2020 um, and she said that since she still lives in fear she's decided to take legal action against Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Monday. Lock it in again tomorrow for more of the juice right here on the all-new KISS 96.